Hello, this is BKM Boskert from Baylor College of Medicine in Houston, Texas. It's my pleasure to go over the results of the Galactic HF trial. We heard the results of the Galactic trial, the long awaited large scale randomized clinical trial addressing the efficacy and safety of Omecaptive Mecarbil, uh, a selective cardiac myosin activator. The trial, very interestingly, excluded patients with systolic blood pressure less than 85 or EGFR less than 20, which is an expansion of the inclusion of a lot of uh, sick patients with hypotension or CKD. The primary endpoint, time to first heart failure event and cardiovascular death was significantly reduced with a relative risk reduction uh, at around 8%. Components of the primary endpoint, time, time to first heart failure event was barely missed with a statistical significance of a p-value of 0.06. There was no effect of, on cardiovascular death. Um, and in terms of the secondary outcomes, there was evidence of improvement in quality of life by KCCQ, KCCQ questionnaire. But again, that barely missed the pre-identified hierarchical significance of a p-value of less than 0.02. They achieved 0.029. NT-proBNP levels were reduced. Regarding safety, though there was minimal rise in troponin I levels uh, to a level of 0.004 in the omecaptive group when compared to placebo, myocardial ischemia and ventricular arrhythmia rates were similar. This was an important finding um, due to the concern from the former findings of elevated troponin I accompanied by increased rates of unstable angina in the phase two trial of the COSMIC study. There was no reduction in blood pressure or worsening of uh, 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 kidney function or electrolyte abnormalities with omecaptive compared to placebo, and significant adverse event rates, arrhythmia, or drug discontinuation rates were similar. By subgroup analysis, there appeared to be some heterogeneity. Uh, this was suggested by a potential great, greater treatment effect in patients with left ventricular ejection fraction less than 28% compared to those with EF greater than 28%. And patients who were sicker um, in NYHA class 3-4 state or elevated anti-proBNP levels over the median appear to have benefit, but the interaction was only significant for the EF subgroup analysis of EF less than 28. We need to hear more about the subgroup analyses of which patients actually benefited um, in the galactic HF trial. So in summary, the major findings include that omecaptive mecarbil resulted in a mod modest, about 8% risk reduction in the risk of primary composite outcome, the first heart failure event combined with cardiovascular death, but the subcomponents of the primary endpoint and or the quality of life uh, secondary endpoints did not reach significance. The pattern of adverse events, including myocardial ischemia, ventricular arrhythmias, appeared to be safe, though there was a mild rise in troponin levels. There was no reduction in blood pressure and no adverse effects on kidney and electrolytes. And there was possibility of heterogeneity, as was suggested by a greater uh, treatment effect in patients with EF less than 28%. Further subgroup analyses may provide greater insights into subgroups who may benefit or may uh, confer higher benefit uh, with omecaptive, uh, such as patients who are sicker with lower blood pressure or lower EGFR, for which we may not have much of a treatment uh, options, especially in the low blood pressure realm, because most of the clinical trials prior to galactic excluded patients with blood pressure or systolic blood pressure less than 100. Background medication use was good. The ACE inhibitor, ARB, or ARNI use was approximately 87%. Beta blocker use was about 94%. MRA, MRA use was 78% but only 3% of the population was on SGLT2 inhibitors, which creates the question of when an uh, SGLT2 inhibitors become part of the standard therapy for heart failure, whether there would be further incremental benefit with omecaptive over uh, or in addition to SGLT2 inhibitors in the background. Thus, further data analysis is going to be quite helpful and perhaps uh, Omecaptive would be a, a 
important uh, addition to background therapy in patients for whom we do not have much uh, treatment options, especially among those ones with advanced disease, low blood pressure, advanced CKD. Thank you for your attention.